This brief support video is a workaround for a full-size automatic tool changer shop bot. The video covers how to bypass the automatic tool changer and run it manually via the software so that the user can change tools manually using the green button on the ATC spindle or use a different non-ATC cutting head. So first we launch up ShopBot 3. Here I'm in easy mode. We'll go ahead and click on the question mark and switch to full mode out of easy. If you're already in full mode, you'll see what I have here with the command console available. Once we have the command console up, go to utilities, reset default settings, click yes and OK to the prompts that pop up and we will be prompted to select our type of tool. When you first pop this up, you'll have this folder here with PRS ShopBots or settings for older ShopBots. We'll go into PRS ShopBots and we have two alpha tool options, one with Z proximity switch and one not including Z proximity switch. If you don't have these two options, just select the PRS alpha tools folder. I'm going to select the with Z prox and then we'll select our table size. If you don't see your table size available, select the next closest table size, then go to the values limits for table drop down and just change the upper limits for the X and Y or Z to match the table size that you have, then click OK. Now that we have the settings loaded, we need to tell the software that it is not an ATC anymore. We'll go to tools, shop bot setup, and we have this pop-up. We'll go ahead and click Next to this box, which are tool settings. Should include a section where it's asking us, do you have any of the following accessories? On this version, which is 3.8.50, and versions uh, 3.8.48 and newer, you'll have this box here, which is asking you what type of machine we have. We'll want to change it from an ATC to manual. If you have an earlier version of the software, you will have just these uh, checkboxes here rather than the radio buttons. And one of the checkboxes will say, I have an automatic tool changer. You want to make sure that is unchecked if you have that option. So basically, tell it that it is a manual tool changer tool. Click next through the rest of the steps. Then I'm done. This will now have set the tool up as a manual tool changer. And we should be all set to run.